congratulations on this. It's a very emotional movie. I really enjoyed it. How do you prepare for a movie like this? Because there's so many aspects to it and they all come together beautifully. Um, I mean, for me, I think, first of all, thank you. Um, and also I think that you just kind of take it day by day and you also, you know, build your, you build your um, relationships with the people around you and, you know, you go, we all went through this movie together. And so I think you really just kind of rely on that, on that system that you're not doing it by yourself. Uh, as a director, there's so many key, uh, key points that this movie has to hit. How do you pace that? Uh, you tap into every one of them, you know, and and uh, what attracted me to the the, the, the the script and the story is that there were so many places that I wanted to explore in storytelling. And so it was, you know, and then being up in this ranch, kind of like li living, living it a bit, it was, it was, it wasn't as manufactured as some movies. Like we were literally on the ranch, this horse trains uh, with the people that kind of the story is loosely based on. So we were, we were in it. So it was very easy to, to kind of tap into it and um, to talk about what really happened and, and how we're going to portray it in this film. Um, so, you know, it, there, there was a lot of, a lot of positive things happening that I was able to bring into the movie. Uh, you can't really direct animals. So how do you go about, you know, training and rehearsals in order to make sure you get the shot you want when shooting? Yeah. Well, we, you know, we had the trainers that train Centurion. It's, it's, uh, it's Centurion is a, is a real dancing, uh, horse. And, and, um, then we had some, uh, like more movie related kind of stunt training people involved as well that helped us kind of bridge it, you know, photographically. And, um, you know, the thing about the horse horse community, I find is like, they want to portray it at the highest level. Uh, you know, they, they, oh, I, I don't care what the budget of the film is, because uh, the, the horse trainers and people like that, they work on smaller budget films, bigger budget films. And so they were all up to the challenge. They, they want to make, make it look real and they want to respect it. And then the whole horse dancing community that we were accessing and, um, a guy named Billy Rodriguez was a big part of it. And, um, you know, we were able to like be thrown into that world. And so I think you, again, you feel that on the screen because it's all, it's all very real. And, you know, the people, it wasn't just Hollywood people making this movie. It was the, the real people making this movie. Remember, uh, how familiar were you with riding horses and uh, how comfortable did you get throughout the filming of this film? Um, I grew up with horses. I mean, the first time I was ever on a horse, I think I was four. And so, you know, it's always been a part of my life. I've never like competed. I never did rodeo. I definitely never did this. Um, so it was a new challenge for sure, but it was really, it was really, I mean, just crazy to be, you know, a part of this and to witness this and to get to learn, you know, a little bit about it and, and to do it your character has the strongest arc. It's the one we mostly get attached to. How difficult was it to do some of those scenes uh, in the hospital? Um, I, I mean, it was really just, it, it was more physically challenging, I think, than you would expect in the sense of like, how do you make yourself sick? Or like, how do you, you know, being, I think a challenge that we faced was like, how do you show feeling awful because so much of the time you know when you're sick or you're nauseous you don't want to move and that's also internal so I think really that I remember that being kind of one of the creatively more challenging times that we had together was like okay well how, how do we you know how do we convey this um in a way that is maybe honest or, or hopefully accurate but also is creatively just as um I think just as weighted as as it deserves to be um so that's kind of like stuff that you you know don't think about or you don't expect and and then also just obviously honoring the emotional side of it I mean I think it was you know I just feel lucky that I was trusted with it uh a question for both of you uh how much trust do you have to put in your director and same for the director how much trust do you have to put in your actress in order for for this to, to be such a collaborative effort that it becomes something that both of you are proud to have on screen. 
Yeah. I mean, everything that is literally everything, you know, I can only do so much. Um, you know, I show up and I do my part and then I go home and Dana is with the movie from, you know, before I'm ever a part of it to after. And even, you know, having him call me and say like, Hey, I think you for this movie is, you know, it, it's a huge compliment. And also it just, you know, I think informs a lot. And, and fortunately we you know, work together and we know each other and Bella Gonzalez, who's the DP, like I know her really well and I trust her. And so it definitely is nice to go into something in that environment of trust. I mean, it's a, it's a hundred percent, you know, you want that and you want, you want the, the trust. And, and to me, so much of, of the film process is discovery. And it's like, well, it's not on the page, right? So when you get into shooting, that discovery that you that you you find in in rehearsing the scenes and 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 talking and and bringing it to life and you know that's everything you know it, it's not it's not like one dimensional it, to me it's like it, it it's a moving living organism that you know happens through throughout the shooting and then obviously the editing process so you know if 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 every movie I ever do and every project I ever do has actors like we had in this and, and like Amber particularly, and, and that, you know, it makes it, it makes it wonderful and, and easy and rewarding, you know, and, you know, you want that in every project and, and then I'll strive for that. Uh, this, this one had it in spades. Definitely. Well, congratulations on this project. It's extremely emotional. It's captivating. It's just beautiful to watch. So thank you very much, both of you, for your time.